each year we take a look at a particular theme. And even though each session is self-standing, there is a theme that runs through all the sessions. Since this Advent season is kind of short, at least as Wednesdays go, we only have three. So when you think of threes, one of the things you think of is faith, hope, and charity, the anchor virtues. And so today, we have set aside time that as we are enjoying this soup, which by the way, the Catfish and Soup Kitchen has made, and they sent it over, so just so you know, and uh, the little commercial is Allison the chef does catering. But as you're enjoying this soup, we are also asking you just to listen to the words. We're going to take a look at the subject of faith today. Next week we'll look at hope, and we'll finish up with charity. All of these virtues are here to help us to enhance this Christmas season as we prepare to welcome Jesus into our hearts. And I'd like to turn the microphone over to one of our new priests on staff, a Capuchin. His name is Father Joes, and he's delighted to be with us today. Thank you, Father. Good afternoon. Uh, we have uh, our soup and bread for our body. And as we have a soup and bread for our body, we need something for our soul. So the word of God is for our soul. So therefore, let me just read a small passage from the Bible, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter, chapter 17. When they came to the crowd, a man approached, knelt down before Jesus, and said, Lord, have pity on my son, for he is a lunatic and suffers severely, often he falls into fire, and often into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus said in reply, for faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring him here to me. Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and from that hour, the boy was cured. Then the disciples approached Jesus in private and said, Why could we not drive it out? Jesus said to them, Because of your little faith. Amen, I said to you, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. The word of the Lord. Uh, dear sisters and brothers, uh, you know the basic basis for our faith. The basis for our Christian faith is the incarnation, passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And these 25 days, we are preparing ourselves to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Of course, we prepare ourselves for the birth of Jesus. However, the church, in fact, expects the second coming of Jesus. So now we always look forward to the second coming of Jesus, though we are celebrating Christmas, the birth of Jesus, and uh, things like that. But we always look forward to the second coming of Christ. So everything is based on the incarnation, passion, death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that is the basis of our faith. And there was a place, and in that place, for three years, there was no rain, Consequently, no water for the people and animals to drink. And people and animals began to die. Then people were so much troubled. 
Then they knew that there was a monk on the mountain staying and praying alone. The people from the village decided to visit the monk and ask for prayer for rain. So the chieftain and other uh, leading members of the village uh, went to visit the monk to ask for prayer for rain. So all of them went to the monk on the mountain, then met him and told him, see, for three years there is no rain here in, in our village. And consequently, there is no water for animals and people. And animals and people are dying. The monk told, of course, there is a solution for that, if you believe. If you believe, there is a solution for that. So you call all your people together and bring, her he bring them here on the mountain. So one day, we all of us will together pray for rain. And the people agreed. So they came down to the village and gathered all the people. Next day, all of them went up to the mountain to pray. And the monk was watching everybody and everything. The prayer started. The prayer started, and the monk called one boy and asked him to stand in the middle of the people and just appreciated him. Because he was a model for everyone else there. There were little children, adults, old people, all were there. But this monk called only this little boy, brought him to the center of the uh, gathering of the congregation and appreciated him. And people were surprised why this monk is calling this boy alone to the center or the middle of the gathering and appreciating him. And the monk lifted the boy li little up in his hand and showed only this boy, when he came for prayer, only this boy brought an umbrella, no one else. Only this boy came for the prayer with umbrella because he believed when we pray, rain will come. He believed. Only this little boy believed. So this is what Jesus tells to us. Believe. You believe, then nothing will be impossible for you. And in the Gospel of Mark we read, see, when you pray for something, you believe that it is given to you. When you pray, believe that it is given to you, then you pray, it will be given to you. This is what mortal, mortals. And this is what we just hear in the gospel today. And see here, our father brings his uh, son because he was epileptic, epileptic. And this father first brought his son to the disciples. Of course, as per the gospel of Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, Jesus had given the authority to cure, uh, cure and uh, cast out demons to the apostles. And therefore, this father brought his son first to the, the disciples. And they failed. They failed. And they, they were so much troubled because they could not cure this boy. Of course, Jesus had, give, Jesus had given them the power to cure and cast out demons. But they failed. And this father he had a strong faith. Even if the disciples could not cure his son, he believed that the Savior, Jesus, he can cure this boy. He can. Jesus can cure his son. So he took uh, his son to uh, Jesus. And what matters is that the disposition of our heart. That's the most important thing. If we strongly believe that Jesus is the Savior, and we concentrate on him, and our heart is disposed, everything will happen. W whatever we pray for, whatever we ask, it will be given to you. And I have a question to you. Let me ask that question. Before that, let me show you one thing. So I have something here. You know what is it? Yeah. Uh, my question for you is that whether it is uh, fragile or strong, fragile or strong, what is it? it is, is it strong or fragile? fragile? Fragile. So if I crush, it will break, right? If I apply my pressure on it, it will break. Do you agree? Do you all agree with that? If I apply my pressure on it, it will break. You agree? No. What is that? 
No, it is, uh, it is, it is raw. It is not hard boiled. Uh, even if it is hard boiled, of course it will break. But believe this is not fragile. Again, I would say the disposition matter. The position matter. How you are placing this egg and apply your pressure on it. The Hindu scripture, the Hindu holy scripture, the sacred scripture of the Hindus, Bhagavad Gita, you may have heard of Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita tells, if you keep the egg straight upward, and if the elephant, even if the elephant steps on it, it will not break. I will show you. Jesus speaks about uh, our strong faith. So the si our faith must be the size of a mustard seed. See, mustard seed, when Jesus uses the parable or a story about the uh, mustard seed, he doesn't mean the size of the mustard seed. Like this egg, mustard seed has a special position. If we crush or apply the pressure on the mustard seed in such a position, it can't. we can't break it. Mustard seed, though small, we can't crush break it. That is what Jesus means. Mustard seed is small, however, even if we stamp on it, we cannot break it. See, we should have a strong faith. That's what Jesus tells. And our faith is based on the resurrection, uh, sorry, the, pas the incarnation, passion, death, and resurrection. And if we believe and ask Jesus, he will give. And Mark uh, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, he tells, see, one who believes, these signs will accompany him. One who believes, hearing the word of the apostles, if the person believes these signs, then he tells, the person will speak new languages. New language you don't mean, see, I am from India. I am from India, my language is not English, but I speak a new language. This is not the new language that Jesus means. Understood? This is not. See, my language may be Hindi or uh, something else, Tamil or Malayalam. I, I speak a language called Malayalam. You may not understand that. I speak. And English, I learned it only with the purpose of coming here. So we le this is a new language. But Jesus does not mean uh, one who believes in me will speak new language. No, the language that speaks about a language of love. Language of love, not something else. See, if there is a hatred in his heart, Hearing the word of God, he will be totally converted, and then he will st start to speak the language of love. Then there is no more hatred in his heart. That is the new language. And Jesus again tells, one who believes other signs, he will lift up the serpents in, ha in his hands. He will lift up, his ha uh, lift up serpents in his hands. Jesus again doesn't mean lifting up of a, literally uh, li lifting up of a serpent. What he means, 
see if there is a person very cruel and trying to hate and kill everyone and the person who believes in Jesus goes to him and speaks this new language then he can bring back that person to Jesus and you see in the, in the case of uh, St. Francis of uh, Assisi uh, there is a story that he goes to a uh, wolf and converts the wolf see this is new language or taking up a serpent in his hand the wolf was so cruel but when St. Francis went to him went to the animal it is tamed it was so calm and gentle see this is what and one who believes in me will speak new language he, even if something poisonous takes nothing will affect him understood if we believe so this is what Jesus tells us believe and if, uh, if you have faith like the size of a mustard seed there is nothing impossible for you and again Jesus tells if you believe you will be able to move a mountain again Jesus doesn't mean to moving away physical mountain who wants to move a physical mountain no none of us we don't want to move a physical mountain it is good to have a mountain here but Jesus what Jesus means the problems in our life the difficulties in our life and the illness in our life the financial problems in our life and if you have faith in me all these problems will be settled all these problems will be removed your financial problems your sickness and your uh, job job and everything will be and believe in me so this is what jesus does thank you